I'm going to be heading to B's camp this weekend and uh, thought I would do a video on my sleeping gear which is a zippered cavalry bed bedroll from Trailmax. Really big fan of this. Now you can see it's fairly large but I've got an extremely insulated sleeping bag in there, a pillow and a two inch foam mattress. Uh, if you just want the canvas zippered bedroll, it, it fits in that box, which is 18 inches by five and a half inches by seven and a half inches. So depending what you put in there, you can keep it pretty small or you can keep it pretty big. Almost all of the camping we do is with some sort of ATV or snowmobile or side by side. So size and weight isn't a factor compared to doing some actual backpacking camping. So I'm going to open it all up and show you everything that's inside, what I like about it, and etc. So to open it, and this is what I love about it, you just undo these two straps, which uh, are very robust. You can really uh, make this as tight as you want without any concern of it ever ripping or breaking. And then here's the beauty of it. When you get to where you want to go, you're, you're set up, you're there. So I'm going to open it up a little bit and uh, show you all the ins and outs. So there's a zipper down both sides, almost entirely right to the bottom. It's got a, a built-in pocket right here to, uh, to keep whatever mattress you want. Um, mine's 2 inches by 30 inches, 2 inches thick by 30 inches wide by 80 inches long. It could accommodate something a little bit wider. It could, it could accommodate up to 33 inches. I would think 32 would be about the max. And, uh, you know, at, at least four inches thick you could put in there. Now, what some people have recommended to me is a self-inflating light uh, mattress like this, which is good. It's going to save you space. But I, I'm not a fan of anything inflatable whatsoever inevitably it gets a hole in it and also there's always moisture inside of it even if you don't in, inflate it with your with your breath it's still it's still got moisture from the air so i'm not a fan of these personally but to each their own so what i've gotten here is a, a two inch foam mattress and this was this goes in from the bottom so here's here's the foam mattress and you you shove it in from the bottom all the way up and once it's in there, it's great. It's uh, it's really well secured. You can put blankets in here, which is pretty comfy with the blanket option. I just bring my my sleeping bag. I'm a really big fan of this one, Rogue Expedition, minus 20 degrees Celsius, and you know, pillow. You're all set. So usually when I'm sleeping. I've got this zipped up maybe a third from the bottom to a half from the bottom, something like that. And that's pretty much how I, how I use it right there. But it's 100% waterproof. So if you happen to be outside or in a really damp setup, you can actually be in here with your head at the top and you just kind of flip this flap over your face and you're, you're literally waterproof. I mean, I'd rather be inside, but if push ever came to shove, you'd be pretty comfortable. And uh, the canvas itself does add quite a bit of a insulating factor, mainly because of the dryness, but I'm a really big fan of this setup. Hope you are too. Take care.